Hi, this is Mr. Kelleher. Um, we're, today we're going to be uh, installing the uh, packages of bees that we ordered for the school. Um, obviously with the school canceled, um, we can't have the bees at the school because somebody has to babysit them. So I'm going to do them at my house for now uh, through the summer and if all goes well we'll bring the bees to the school in the fall. Uh, so yesterday I went to um, New England Beekeeping up in Tingsboro, Mass um, and picked up my bees. So they come in a three pound box. It's called a package. So inside here there are all the worker bees, probably some drones. There's food for them and the queen is in here. So <clears throat> I have my hives set up. We're gonna do two, two beehives. So I have my hives set up here. Um, this is called a deep box or a brood box. And this is what the bees will start laying in. They'll start in the middle. The queen will start in the middle and work her way out to the edge. And it's my job to monitor when she gets close to the edge. I add another box on top. You can pan over here. You can see I have uh, empty boxes. Um, so unfortunately the bees that I had at home, um, I've been checking on them, on them weekly and feeding them weekly. And I came out on Saturday to feed the bees and they were all gone. Um, my thought is, is that they were struggling really bad. They barely made it over the winter. And um, I thought maybe they had swarmed away, but um, I was just looking inside and I found the queen um, dead in the bottom. So she was dead, everybody else was dead. So um, I have extra, su extra, supply, extra boxes here that I won't be using. Okay, so inside the box, you guys have seen the frames, right? This is a frame, okay? It's got foundation on it, and in and in each individual cell is already pre pre laid out so that the bees don't waste time designing their thing. It's already designed for them, so they will start building this out. So what I have each box holds ten of them. So in here I have nine of them. And then I have a new thing that I picked up yesterday. It's a plastic feeder. Um, I didn't have very much success with the other feeder. I think that was part of the reason why the bees left. Uh, so I'm going to try to, a different feeder. Uh, feeding bees is simple. Um, one part, well, uh, one gallon of water to a five pound, a five pound bag of sugar. Um, I boil it down to so that it, um, it 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 dizzles. The sugar dissolves in it and I let it cool and then I bring it out and I pour it in. So here's my sugar water. It also has a little bit of uh, um, some bee nutrients that I picked up at the store yesterday, some amino acids that are good for the bees um, and some proteins and stuff like that. So the idea is, is as soon as you feed the bees, that tricks them into thinking that they, they are gonna like this hive and that they're gonna keep this hive their home because the food is right inside with them. And they will start sending bees out to find food while they're eating the food in here. And that will, get, that will stimulate the queen to start laying the eggs and to start getting the hive going. So at this point, the packaged bees, they have, they have, uh, they have no honey. They have no home yet, except this little shoe box. Um, so they're gonna be, um, they're, they're pretty they're pretty calm it's it's a little cool out it's warmer than expected today uh, yesterday it was like 35 degrees and raining um, these bees came up from a farm down in Georgia over the weekend so um, the way you, the way I'm gonna start by doing it is <clears throat> I have a bunch of tools with me in my toolbox in my little tool bin I have a spray bottle that's full of sugar water what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna spray them down uh, in the box and that, um, that takes their mind off of the fact that I'm going to be working in the box. Um, so what they'll do is, is they'll start, they're probably a little hungry, so they'll start eating the sugar water and not paying attention to me very much. Okay, I have a, a utility knife, I have a pair of pliers, uh, needle nose pliers, I have a pocket knife, and I have a, I have a, a, a this is called a hive tool. It kind of looks like a, uh, a little mini pry bar 
um, it's exactly what it is but it works perfect for um, getting into the hive so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in and I'm going to pull out three frames so that it gives me room to work so what I want to do is, is I'm going to take the queen and then I'm going to put the queen in there and the rest of the bees will follow the queen a little bit. I'm going to shake the box until the bees go in there. They're going to follow the queen and start um, uh, start paying attention to the queen. She's going to give off pheromones as to where she is, and they will start uh, going through the hive and, and 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 seeing if they like it. But first, before I do that, I'm going to feed them because <laughs> if the food's here, they won't eat me. this out of the way over here <clears throat> shoot where did that rag go stop for a minute <clears throat> 